Boldy James and the Alchemist song is called 10 Pints. Mm. Or maybe it's called 10 Pence. I don't know. Depends on what region you're from. Ah. Maybe it's mm. 10 Pence. Maybe if. No, uh, it's definitely not. Uh, what's the old dude from the UK? Yeah. Yeah, I don't Boz know. And Boz and. Boz. Pete and Boz. Pete and Boz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a pogo. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyways, let's see what we got here. You can sing one verse and go to lunch. That's that. I'm like yeah. Terry back in uh, that's back that Alchemist Psychedelic. I never had a box yet. <laughs> you saw what I was talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Thunder in my blue burning. Got a nigga wheels turning. I caught lightning in the bottle. Like a nigga wind surfing. Blow strong as a hair dryer. Whole one in the spare tire. First one in the drug zone. And cook up on the air fryer. Mm. Counting all these rackies to the neck. Can't get a dollar out of me. Auntie calling back like, damn, nephew, you must forgot about me. Come outside, spent the 60 with me. Oh, up 105. Limit 500. Checks come out, she always clear a deck. This remind me of some currency shit. I was just about to say that. Similar, yeah, yeah. I've never been a huge Boldy James fan, only because he, he has that sound that kind of almost sounds like he's not trying a mm. little bit. Nasally. Um, well, no, it's just it's just kind of his it's less it's, it's less the less his voice, but more just kind of like how he Delivery. does it. His style, yeah, yeah. it's but, very laid, like but, laid back. It's very there's not much to it. He's just kind of there, kind of talking to you, yeah. a little bit, which is again the currency vibe or the Larry June vibe. I was about to say Larry or, June, know, even yeah. the, the the Jay Worthy vibe, you know, which which the crazy thing I what I was gonna I said all that to say like I, I've always thought Voldy James was good, mm. but. I've, he's never been one of my personal favorites because of that reason. But there have been so many artists that have kind of emerged since then that kind of have that style that this there's this a, seems kind of like normal there's now. There's a huge wave of this. Yeah. There has been for a long time. But what I'm saying is it's, it's to Lone's it's, point. I feel like it's blossoming. Yeah, like it's it's gained a lot of steam. This has. Yeah. And I think currency, which is crazy for me to say this, but currency probably has more energy, if you will, yeah. as it relates to how he, when he comes yeah. on a record. More charismatic with More it. charismatic. That's a good word. That's yeah. a good word. Uh, but Larry June and currency are top tier. And they pick better in production In that to particular me. style, in my opinion. In that, in, that, in that particular well, I style. I think Boldy James is right up there with production, too, personally. Yeah. I would prefer, and I, did, I didn't realize it until I went back and did uh, revisit it and start going through catalogs. Larry June does a great job at picking production. Yeah, man. Larry June, nice. Like he, his, his way for the way, once I understood what he was and took my... Right. Backpack off or whatever yeah, you want to yeah, call it. And it was just like, yo, fam does what he does. It's his lane and he's really good at what he does. So yeah, he definitely picks good production. But no, nah, this this is Well, most of the stuff that I've heard with from Boldy is with Alchemist. True. Mm-hmm. You know, like that's yeah. the primary most of remember most of it. So. This kind of goes to what we talked about uh when you and I were discussing what we kinda talked about the production thing. This one's pretty straightforward like, right down the middle. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It's... Would you say you produce this? I, see, I'm gonna start asking you that now when we go listen to the more. Show. I, I need to listen to more of it okay, because man. I, I want to know if if because because I know he's chopping and looping some stuff up there, but mm-hmm. I, I but I need to hear if like if the drum pattern that's on there moves with the chop. All right, bet or if it's. Something that like just kind of, you know. Black Sicilian stack the half a million off them chia pets. Real smooth and mellow, love my bitch ghetto. is me an ex, stitched and knitted with the chemist tailor made. Tailor fitted, meal prepping, spent the work up, made it do a pirouette. Gamble with my life, OT commute, I never lost a bet. Caught Unc at the stove, copping the rolls and I'm Milwaukee's best. He ain't like that last batch, that old shit is what draw him in. Told him that this new shit that I got, it ain't gonna clog his stem. Yeah, today. <laughs> <laughs> Gone tomorrow. No, it's kill it, be killed, but who willing to take it further? Yeah, today. Today, gone tomorrow. Gone tomorrow. I'd rather will and deal before I beg still a burn. This shit hit harder than Tarva, 10 pints of Tris Farmer. So many choppers got the strip hotter than the Sahara. Clip full of RIPs for niggas wearing <laughs> body armor. Took the stock off my ARP case, I bump in the karma. <laughs> That's a cool ass dude. Yeah, I like he got his looks like his son in there. That's dope. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I like the record in general. Yeah. Uh, you know, I like, I like, I like the style of that. You know, like mm-hmm. even even when we were talking about that Lil Wayne Corday record, like yes, even though I don't feel like it's super <coughs> super produced, I, I still like the style of it. You know, and so yeah, that I, record was and dope. so I get why people like it. I get why I get the allure of it. Yeah, this 
sounds just like a loop to me. It just don't really sound like much more than just a sample loop on top of it. The interesting thing about the production portion when it breaks into the chorus is that he chose a completely different part of the, of the sample yeah. to do the same type of thing. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's literally somebody singing and somebody playing bass on it. I don't know. You know? I think that one is just a different part of the record. That's what I think. It's so kind of matched them together. I think so as well. So I don't know. I mean, look. It, it, it did Alchemist, what it's supposed to do. You know, like people that produce like this, you know, like they know what they're doing and they do it well. I, I, I don't think it's doing a lot, though. There is a skill that's involved in knowing how to pick and, and chop the right stuff. Don't get it to us. A hundred percent. You know, hundred percent. But it's not once you know how to do that, which we know how to do that. Yep. It's not a lot of work. Nah. It's just like, oh, yeah, that's dope. Cool. Five minutes. Next. Like that's I'm an email. It. That, that, that's it. You know, so. You know, granted, it comes with also, you know, the other part of producing like Alchemist does and like a lot of these producers do that do this kind of like loop based stuff is like you also kind of have to be in the crates. And that's an element that a lot of time is, is kind of Lost. Over overlooked is that, you know, the Alchemist is digging and understanding where these records are coming from. You know, mate, he's he's putting work behind the scenes, not just sitting down making the beat. There's work that comes in finding these records to them. And that is why I always... So, hold him in such high regards because I know he's cut from that cloth of digging and doing the homework. I'd love to see his record collections. You know what I'm saying? Because I know he's done the work. So shout out to the Aquas. That's I like the part record. for the course on yeah. that one. I like it. I mean, but you know, it's one of those things where like sometimes if you just want to, <clears throat> like, once again, I hate using the word vibe because it seems like too old to say it, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a part of what we do now, sir. But man, that like the beat is just something I could put on like, you know, if I'm just trying yeah. to you know, maybe get ready for the day, mm -hmm. you know, I have, you know, even if I'm just trying to read or something, like, I was like, okay. Sometimes I just have beats, and if I can find instrumentals to them, yeah. like, I got, like, a whole folder just for instrumentals. But well, you like. do know two people that make instrumentals. I do, don't I? Yeah. You know, but, just you know, I mean, there. just like, you know, like, a lot of the stuff that um I use for music beds for promos for my business is a lot of the stuff that the Alchemist did for, or, not the Alchemist, yeah, Alchemist did uh, for Freddie Gibbs. Yeah. Yeah, so, use a lot of that. <laughs> All right. And people okay. are always like, what is that? I was like, well, obviously, it says it right there, but <laughs> thanks for paying attention. 